Here we are. Jim Stakes, fourth and south. Update to the Philadelphia landmark. It is getting fixed up. It burnt down a few months ago. And uh, it's a famous cheesesteak spot. You would go here, you go to a concert at the TLA right down the street. You would come here, go to Jim Steaks, get a cheesesteak after. Oh, look at this. Got to trust the process. But uh, anyway, so Jim's uh, burnt down. They're going to reopen it. And I heard that they bought this historic landmark of a spot, too. Uh, the Eyes at 402. Now, this building isn't significant because you see this, this mural type of artwork. This is made by a guy named Isaiah Zargard. And uh, he, he actually has a museum down the street here. But this type of artwork with this mosaic started in this building here because it was his wife's uh, eyeglass store. And I heard recently that she retired and sold this property to Jim. So Jim's is going to be bigger when uh, it gets another Philadelphia landmark, zipper heads. And I'm telling you, I think they saved the ants. The, uh, the zipper heads, this is an old punk rock record store t-shirt shop. Um, and uh, the pro the rent in the on this street is crazy. So the people who used to own this store, they actually moved around the corner to a smaller spot. But um, yeah, they painted up the uh, the zipper head wall and and the ants. They were starting to fall apart. They were made of fiberglass. And it looks like they were preserved. Wow. Well, you know that this is a no? Was that? I donate to your oh, thank you very much. I no, seriously, I thank you very much. I appreciate that. He donates to the lives. How about that? So much history here. On South Street. You see, here's some more of Isaiah's artwork. And everywhere you go, everywhere you go in this neighborhood, and mostly anywhere from here to South Philly, you'll, you can make a right turn and just wind up and you'll see some Isaiah artwork. Now, the story with Isaiah's artwork is I guess we'll go back down on South Street since we're talking about it. The story with his artwork is they were supposed the city wanted to build a major highway going east west in Philadelphia, and they thought that they were going to use South Street as that that place for that highway. So a lot of people in the 50s and 60s they were just selling their properties. So a lot of these places were just selling those properties and. A wrecking ball would come and knock down and there would be some vacant lots and i think most of the vacant lots are built over and uh so people were just moving and the va the buildings were getting vacant and it, and so there were like some hippies left on south street there was a matter of fact there was a song where do all the hippies meet south street south street these hippies had all these houses and isaiah would knock on their door they say hey listen let me slap some of my art on your wall and they would say okay no problem and then uh, a few years go by and the city said, you know what, we're gonna put that highway on Vine Street, not South Street. And now we're blessed, hashtag blessed, to have Isaiah Zargard artwork all over. Here is an old street in Philadelphia. And back in the day, people would ride these streets with horse and buggies. So what they would do is they would have these blocks here. Now, some people call these cobblestones. They're not actually cobblestones. These are called Belgian blocks. And they had these like slabs on the side. And what they were for is if you had your horse and buggy, if you're going through, this is the scooter, it going on the blocks, you see how bumpy it is? But when you go, well, it's not, <laughs> actually, that's a hard, but no, it's a little bit smoother when the, the, the slabs. Look at this. That's a street that no longer exists. Huh. Concordia Place. There's a thing that there was a, uh, they were trying to pass a law in the city where people couldn't put planners in front of their houses. They were trying to make a thing to save space because sometimes people put, some people go crazy with the plants. 
and it'll take up the whole the whole front of the house. It makes it difficult for people with wheelchairs to get through. Um, here's another. Here's a uh, another old firehouse in Philadelphia that they converted. I think this these are uh, condos or apartments, but. Pretty awesome looking building, and then they have a little tribute to what used to be here. One Seventeen Queen Street. If no one answers, you ring, please. To oh, okay. There's another old little. I guess it was probably a stable or a horse and carriage type place. And they, they just, this is like where old Philadelphia was. This is where, oh, I don't know how developed was Ben Franklin. He probably walked around here, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Are you writing a book report? Better not be. Here, I'll get it. How about I get in the bike lane? All right, and we're coming up. This is a pretty historic spot. This is the old Swedes Church. It was the first building William Penn who was the founder of Pennsylvania it was the very first building he saw when he uh, came to Philadelphia hold on it's still open matter of fact I heard they have one of the best Christmas services if you go to mass on Christmas Eve or maybe it's Christmas night they have they have like a beautiful candlelight vigil that they do and it's supposed to be one of the best Christmas masses uh, it's all I, it's it's at a weird time, so I never go to it. Plus, I'm you know I don't really care about uh, church, so it's not really my bag, baby. But here it is, that steeple, right there, the top of that steeple. That is the very first thing William Penn saw when he came to uh, Philadelphia. He was driving down the Delaware River on a boat. He said, "Oh, what the hell?" And they said, "Oh, that's a church, cause." So, oh, 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 that's my William Penn impression. Um, so that's yeah. So that church is one of the oldest buildings in the United States of America. You got this graveyard here. They do a daycare over here, and then you know what they do? It's pretty nice to let people walk their dogs, not in the graveyard, but at the um, like in the parking lot here. There's not many park. Well, there's a few parks in South Philly, but nothing really like magnificent. So now I'm on this bike trail right off of Delaware Ave. Look at this. And, uh... You know, maybe I, maybe I spoke too soon when I said there's nowhere to walk a dog around here. I forgot all about this uh, trail. And it, it's one of those trails... It used to be something, and now it, it was abandoned, and then the city took it over, and uh, they made it into a park. It's pretty cool looking. They have this nice little boardwalk here. The steps to nowhere. Ooh, ooh. Not season. Uh oh. There it is. Oh man, the gnats are bad here. Uh oh. Yeah, but you see, there used to be like something. You see the piers, the docks, the the pylons, and all types of stuff. And then. Uh, they got this big pole and the steps to nowhere. You ever hear about that bridge in Alaska, the bridge to nowhere? Well, this is the steps to nowhere. Over there, that's the uh, Philadelphia Fire Department boat. And I think the Coast Guard is stationed right out of, out of the um, that building right here.
Yeah, and all you see all those overgrown trees right in front of me, those are all mostly abandoned piers that are overgrown and uh, they've fallen apart. Uh, they're in the state of disrepair, and the city's repairing some of them, making them whatever the hell these things are, piers, so you can walk on. And <sighs> This thing shakes. These steps shake. Uh, it's a little scary. I don't think it would go anywhere, but you can feel it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it shake. But you can feel it shake. And, uh, yeah. Right down there, Center City. It's about two and a half miles from here. This is really nice. This is this is like um, the closest thing to a nature trail you're going to. Well, there's actually a few of these in South Philly, hidden on the coast of the banks of the Delaware River. You just gotta walk around and look for them. This city's so big. Like there's people who live in Northeast Philadelphia. And I guarantee you, they don't even know this exists. They don't. They'll never come here. They'll never see this. And it's it's a well. Oh wow. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's a encampment right here. Well, maybe it's a good thing because there's a lot of homeless encampments. I don't. Yeah. Oh wow. There was a uh, a thing that was happening around the time of the Super Bowl. There was this guy <laughs> who, I don't know where he came from, but he just said for the next 30 days, it might have been 40 days, for the next 30 or 40 days, I'm going to eat an entire rotisserie chicken. And he would take a picture of it and put himself on Twitter uh, eating the chicken. And on the 40th day, he said on the 40th day, he said... I want everyone to meet me on this abandoned pier in South Philly, and I'm going to eat the 40th chicken. And uh, here's a clip of what happened when that guy came to eat his 40th chicken. There was, there was a lot of people came to watch that guy eat a chicken. It was such a big thing. It looked like a fun time. And here's another pier. This one, like I think this is what they're going to do to all the piers. You know how that was all falling apart? Well, now they got it cemented. It's fixed. It's a little safe. They got these seats. Yeah, this uh, it's extremely low tide. Ducks are just sitting in it. All right, well, I think that's it. That's enough. We saw some stuff. There goes, by the way, there is the uh, probably one of the worst Walmarts in the world right there in South Philadelphia. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch my merch it's fire and if you want to help me out there's a link below in every video to my patreon you get bonus videos early previews and uh postcards if you get a certain tier uh if you like access to all my live streams just click that join button and you could you get to join me uh when you can't join me live you can join the live stream later because you get access to the live streams because i don't tell you the truth uh, the live streams, I don't, you know, it's kind of like me just talking to myself in my basement. I don't understand why people watch them, but people watch them, and actually, people are like, oh, I like them. I was like, okay, I'll keep doing them, but I'm not going to leave them up.
you gotta join to, to watch them. Uh, and uh, they check out my merch. My merch is fire. Help the Patreon. Da, 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 da. Uh, I'm doing cameos right now. If you want to get, say, wish uh, if you have somebody who graduated college, you want me to congratulate them or wish somebody a happy birthday. Well, anyway, if you like this video, we, we get it, right? Hit the like button. And we're going to end this at the greatest cheesesteak spot in the world, John's Roast Pork. You want a good cheesesteak? You want a good anything? You go to John's Roast Pork. They make a, a, a roast pork sandwich that you can only get in Italy or from John's Roast Pork. It's like a hundred-year-old recipe that they don't even make no more, but they only make it here. All right, well, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Doodles!